Hello guys, welcome to Gamble with Jimmy. Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to show you guys another strategy. I hope you guys liked that um, last strategy. Uh, I thought that was a really good one. That was a pretty cool strategy actually. That was uh, pretty creative. Was the, um, the Picky DC. If you haven't seen that Picky DC, I, I'd probably watch that one. That one's pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna start with 5,000, okay? Um, I'm gonna add couple more here, give them 10, 10 here. Okay, whoops. All right, so we got 5,000 even. All right, so um, I've got something interesting to do. So I had a lot of success with the, uh, I've played the uh, Picky DC now six times. Six times, guys, and it's one out of a uh, combined out of the six times. The average length that I played the uh, Picky DC has been 30 minutes a session, okay? 30 minutes a session, and it's won $2,300 in those six sessions total, in the total. So what is that? Uh, I don't know what, six, what is that? Three, three times six is 18, so four times six is 24. So it's averaging $400 profit per session every 30 minutes. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if that continues, we'll put the uh, picky DC against the weight six, seven, eight. They're two completely different strategies. Like, there's no comparison. <laughs> They're just night and day. Um, there is another. There is another um, one that we've been playing that can compete with the weight six, seven, eight. I forget the name of it. I just showed it, but I was impressed with that too. So we'll, uh, we'll probably have to have a playoff between those strategies, okay? So right now, the weight 678 is still the champion. All right, so what we're going to do on this particular strategy is I have done everything in my power to try to figure out ways that I can bring the don't pass and the don't come to you guys so you can actually play them because I preach to you how bad they are. And I even go out of my way and say, if you, for now on, see anybody that is showing a crap strategy where they're showing that they're doing the don't pass in the strategy or the don't come bar in the strategy, anytime that it's a, a continuation roll, the only way, like the way that the picky DC does it is it doesn't play the six, eight, nine. And it doesn't mean that it can't get beat up by the 4, 5, and 10. Believe me, it can. It's just staying away from the power. And that's what we're going to bring to the don't pass bar. So um, in the way that we're doing the money with the don't come, it just gives it an opportunity. It gives it a chance to win. So we're going to try it with the don't pass bar. The only difference is, is we can only do one at a time. That's it. We can only do one, one at a time with the don't pass. With the DC, we can get three of them out there. So it's like having three don't pass bars where you can win five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars on one rope one on one shooter. And I don't see you doing that with the don't pass bar. Okay, so our our wins, our wins will be, I think we can make it work from what I have in mind. Okay, so we're not gonna play the six, eight, and nine when we have a don't pass bar. We're we're not gonna do it. All right. So here we go. You're not going to be able to play this on bubble craps. So if you're a bubble craps player, you will not be able to play this. Only on a live table. All right, so we're going to come and we're going to start with a little $25 bet on the don't pass. That's, how, that's, the first, that's level one. Okay, so we're going to win $25. Now this is the only way that you're going to see me play the don't pass. This is the only way. It's the only way I will, will personally play the don't pass bar. And so I seriously doubt you. Now I could incorporate other strategies based around this philosophy. So I don't want to say that this is the only way. Meaning, what I mean that is like, it's the only strategy that I'll do the don't pass on. So I can do another strategy, but it will do the same thing that we're doing here. Okay. So the points of five. All right. So now what we're going to do is the five qualifies for us. The, the five qualifies. 
The only numbers that we play with the don't pass are the four, the five, and the 10. That's it. Everything else we surrender. I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so that's a four. And that's a six. And that's a 10. So we've already hit fours, fives, and tens already. And those are the numbers that we would not go against. And those are the numbers hitting right now. So it's not like those numbers cannot hit. I'm just saying in the long run, we're going to do better by not doing the 6, 8, and 9. And there's your 7. Okay, so your 7 is going to beat your 5. All right? So we have made $50 so far. Okay, but one of those was just pure luck with the 1, 2. Okay, so we're going to do it again. Here we go. Okay, that's an 8. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to refuse... We're going to refuse the eight. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to put $20 on the eight. Okay, if the eight hits, we get 24 and we lose a dollar. If the seven hits, we make $5. We do not play against the eight. This is the reason why. That's the eight. Okay, so we only lose a dollar. We only lose a dollar. Okay, so that one's over with. And we just look for the next one, okay? Now, what's nice about the DC, when you look at the, the, the picky DC that I just made, what's nice about that is that you put the DC pending, it goes to the A, you put the buy bet on the A, and then you redo another DC. And if the DC hits a 4, a four 5, or a 10, you work those with no protection on them, okay? So with the, D, the don't pass, it's a much slower process. We can't make as much money. It's safer this way for those of you that don't want to go crazy like I did with the DC, the picky DC. Okay, and there's a six. So unfortunately for us, we do not go against the six. So what we're going to do is we're going to put $20 on it. We don't want no part of that six. Okay, that's a five. And that's an eight. That's another five. Snake eyes. That's a nine. That's a 10. And that's another eight. Another eight. Snake eyes, a 10, throwing a lot of 10s, throwing a lot of 10s. And there's a six, okay? So once again, that's two times now. That's two times now that this intelligent way of the new way to play the don't pass bar has worked. That's two times now. So I've played the don't pass so many times where it literally took the best possible strategies that I've ever made and destroyed them. It literally will take over a strategy and you won't even remember what the strategy was about because it all becomes the don't pass. Will I die with the don't pass? Will I not die with the don't pass? Will I get killed with all this money or will, I, will, I, will, it, will it actually you know, prevent me from protect my numbers? The worst play is the don't pass. But if you play it like this, you actually have a chance to win with it, okay? Because we're going to use the power of the don't pass when we hit the 4 and the 10 and the 5. We're always favored there. The 6, 8, and 9, when you keep rolling and rolling and rolling, you're going to get picked off over and over. Okay, we're going to lose a dollar. Okay, it has protected you two times now. Okay, you're going to lose the 25 to the come out. So you're going to go up to $50 now, okay? Okay, and now you have a 5. So the 5 qualifies. So there is no money we're putting on the 5. It qualifies. The 4, 5, and the 10. That's all we're playing. Okay, that's a 2-1. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to get picked off by the five. We are rolling a lot of fives and tens right now. Okay, so we're going to lose this 50. Okay, that's $75 that we've lost, right? So we're going to do $100 now. This is why we have a big bankroll, okay? Okay, we're going to hit the nine. Now, we don't go against the nine. We don't go against the nine. So I'm going to show you how to get a guarantee, a guarantee victory here, okay? A guarantee victory is to put 75 on that nine. If you throw the nine, you get 105. If you throw the seven, you're going to get $25 profit. Okay, that's a six. That's a four. That is a six, a four, two, six. That's an eight. And there's the nine. Okay, that's why we do not go against the nine. Okay, so we're going to get 105 and lose 100. Okay, that's three times that this strategy, the new way to play the don't pass, has protected your money. Three times now. You get to keep all your money and they owe you a nickel. Okay, you're going to go back to your $100 because you got to get back to level one somehow. Okay, now that's a good one there. That's a 6, 4, 10. So sometimes we're going to get our numbers that we're looking for, okay? And there's your point there. Okay, we're going to go. That's a 12. That's an 8. There's a nine. So you're starting to see the power numbers starting to show up. The six, eight, and nine. Those are power numbers, okay? When you're betting in this game, you should only really be betting on the, on the six, eight, and the nine if you want to play your box numbers. Those are all you really need to bet on. See, there's a six right there. You've been hitting nothing but these numbers in the last five rolls. And there's another nine. Do you see what I'm saying? Those are powerful numbers in this game, guys. Okay, there's a four. You're going to hit those fours and tens and fives every time too, but you're just not going to hit them as much. Okay, there's another eight. You'd be getting murdered. Don't ever go against a six, eight, and nine. Don't ever do it. Look at this, guys. There's another eight. You're starting to see exactly what I'm trying to tell you. This comes from experience. There's another nine. See what I'm saying? If you guys want to play this game, you could make a living off of betting the six, eight, and the nine and just doing the seven hops. You can make a living in this game doing that. Okay, and we finally got the seven, okay? So we beat that 10. So we're going to get rewarded for $100. Okay, so now we can go back to our quarter. And here we go. Okay, we hit the five. And that's one of the numbers that we will go against, okay? The four, five, and the, and the ten. All right? Now, if you compare this one, the don't pass, with the, uh, the picky DC, this one is much stress-free. The picky DC can get very, very expensive. But it also, like I said, can win you literally like $600 on one shooter. And we're going to get killed by that five again. That five is brutal today. We're throwing a lot of fives. Okay, so you're going to lose that quarter. And you're just going to go up to 50, okay? It's no big deal. It happens, guys. And there's another five. That five is hot right now. Okay, that five is really hot. But we're going to challenge it. We're going to challenge it. And here's what's cool. This is a six, a three, three, six. Here's what's cool. So check this out, guys. What I also like about the don't pass solo is that... What I like about this is that um, you're starting with $25. So when you get picked off by the five, now you go to 50. If you get picked off again, you know, remember, you're only playing the four, five, and the 10, so it doesn't really matter. Sooner or later, you're going to beat that five, right? You would think, right? And so you don't even have to beat it every time. You just got to beat it maybe like one out of four times, and you, you should be making profit. <laughs> that five got us again, guys. 
That five is whooping our you know what. That's $75 that we lost. Okay, so we got to go to the hundred now. Here we go. Okay, 336 is the point. We definitely don't want no part of that six. We ain't messing with that six. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put 75, 80, 85, 90 dollars on that six we can't lose now and there's the six do not try to challenge that six eight and nine with the don't pass do not try to do it okay so we hit the six ninety dollars um times 16 percent i have no idea what that is okay that's 14 dollars. so we're gonna we're gonna lose this hundred but we're gonna get a four dollar profit we get 104 so they're going to pay you $4. Now, this new way of playing, the don't pass, has protected you four times now. Four times. And you're talking like $400 that you would have lost. It will. You cannot be a professional craps player and make a living playing the don't pass bar. You cannot do it. If you do it this way, you have a chance. Okay? You have a chance. We're just going to redo that 100 Okay, we're going to lose that 100 because of the 11. Okay, 200. Okay, that's an 8. We're going to refuse that bet. We are not playing with that 8. Okay, but we have a chance to win some money here. Okay, so we're going to go 175 on the 8. Okay, that's a 2-1. So we, we really can't lose right now, but we're, we're not going to win a lot. But we can't lose. So what we're going to do is we'll have to make it up when we get the right number. Maybe we'll win at the higher level when we hit the 4 or the 10 or the 5. Okay, there's a 4, 3, 7. Okay, so we're going to lose 175. But we're going to get 200. So we got, we got $25 back. But we're going to stay at the $200 level because that is not going to uh, help us get back our money. Okay, and that's a six. We do not want nothing to do with the six. So we're going to put another 175 here, and we'll see if we can just win a quarter. Okay, and that's an eight. That's an 11. And there's the six, what will beat us again. Like I told you guys, like I told you guys. Okay, that's 175. I believe it's the same thing. I believe it's um, 104. No, that's 28 plus 175. Okay, we're going to get, yeah, 203. We get a $3 profit. Okay. Okay, we get a, uh, so we're going to just redo it, guys. Okay, so everything I've been telling you, that's how many times now, guys? Five times. Five times you would have lost $500 if you were playing the six, eight, and the nine. And there is a nine. We don't want nothing to do with this, this come out, okay? We're not hitting any of the come outs that we want, and, and the five is killing us. So we really want fours and tens right now. Okay, so that's a nine, but that's a good thing for us. Let me show you why. The 9 and the 5 are better for us. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to stop playing the 5 and just play the 4 and the 10. Because these guys on the 5s and 9s, we get 40% more on the bet. So I'll show you what I mean. We only got to go 150 here. Okay? So we have a guarantee win right here. Guarantee. We can't lose. There's an 8. There's a 6. And that is another six. That's a four. Back to back fours. Two one. Okay, there's a four four eight. And there's a six four ten. Two, one, three, five, two, seven. So we're going to win. Okay? 
So we're going to get a $25 profit. Or I'm sorry, we're going to get a $50 profit. We only have $150 that we lose. Okay, so here I'm going to keep the $150 because I only paid myself $50. Okay, so we make a $50 profit. Okay, now I'm still, that $50 in the previous one was, was $25, so that's only $75 back. So I'm still going to keep it at the 200 level. Okay, I'm still going to keep it there. Okay, that's a five. Now we're not doing really good with fives right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm not going to challenge the five no more. I'm only going to play the four and the ten. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the five is I'm gonna take the guaranteed win. I'm gonna put 150 there, okay? Here we go. Two, one, three. Three, two, five, what did I tell you guys? That five is hot right now. We're no longer gonna use the five. So all the insides we're gonna, we're gonna stay away from. We're only gonna play, so we should call this something like the don't the don't pass 410, the don't 410 or something like that. Or we'll call it the don't 14. That's Let's call it that. Don't 14. 4 and 10 is 14. Don't 14. That's the name of the strategy, okay? The don't 14. I like it. I like it. Okay, so 150. Okay, $150 on that times 40% is 60. So we make... $10 profit, $10 guys, is better than losing, right? Because we didn't make any money, we're gonna keep our don't at 200, here we go. There's our 10, there is our 10, so this is our opportunity. Okay, we're gonna challenge that 10. There's an eight, a six, two, eight. There's a six. What did I tell you about those sixes and eights and nines, guys? Two, one. Four, four, eight. You're not gonna beat four fours. You're not gonna beat eights and sixes and nines, guys. And there's another six. And there's a five, the five's hot. There's our seven right there. We get $200. Okay, now that $200 is going to allow us to come down to $100. And if we win again, then we're going to reduce it to $50. And if we win again, we're going to reduce it to $25. And then we'll cash out. Okay, so that's a nine. Okay, so check this out. We're going to refuse that challenge. But here's what's cool, guys. I only got to do 75 on it. So I'm basically guaranteeing a victory. I'm either going to make $25 profit or I'm going to make $5 profit. Okay, there's the 10. Snake eyes. And there is a 10. We don't have a 10. And there's the 9, okay? Do not challenge a 9, 8, and 6, guys. You will get killed every time. All right. So 75 pays 105. So instead of us making a quarter, we only make a nickel. All right? So we're just going to give it another try with the 100, okay? Okay, that's a 12. That's going to be a push. Okay, that's an 8. We don't want nothing to do with that 8. We are not going to play against that 8. We're going to put 75, 80, $90 on that 8. And there is a 437. So we're going to win $10. Okay. We're going to just redo it with our $100. And there's a four, guys. The fours and tens sometimes are going to come out on the come outs. So we're going to challenge that. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to win, but we're going to challenge it. Okay, that's an eight. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be a 6-1, but it was a 6-2-8. 5-4-9. You see the strength of the 6-8-9, and nine, guys, over and over. And there's our 7, guys. We beat that 4. 
That's another 100. So this is a patient way to play, but it's the only way that I would feel confident playing the don't pass. It's the only way I personally would play it. There's no other way that I would play it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do 75 now. We'll see if we can win again. Okay, that's a 314. We're going to challenge it. There's a 628. And there's our seven. So I like what we're doing. I really like what we're doing. On any time we hit an inside number, we put the money on it where we're, we're guaranteed to win. Every single time, every time it's a 10 or a four, we challenge it. We tried with the five, five seems to be too powerful. So why do the five? It's a 40% difference in what it pays you. So if you have 100 here, you only have to put 75. If you hit the seven, you're guaranteed 25. If you hit the five, you make $5. It's, you can't lose. Why not do that? Okay, so that's 75. Okay, we're gonna drop this down to 50. So if we win on the 51 and then we'll do 25, then we'll cash out, okay? There's a two one right there. That's a two one, we, we have 50 bucks. That's gonna force us to go down to a quarter. So we basically are gonna go ahead and cash out right here. We don't need to play anymore. We already won. We won. If you were up at for 200 and you worked your way back, you know you're in profit. You won. Okay? So we're just going to take the money. I don't think we made a lot, but it's, it was successful. Okay, that's 1000 Okay, that's 4,400 right there. Okay, that's, that's 4,500. Okay, so here is our $5,000 right here. All right, everything else is our profits, okay? So let's see, one, two, three, four, two, three, Okay, that's 50. Okay, that's 100. That's 400. 420. 425. 430. 435. All right, so $440 profit. All right? Not bad. We played about 30 minutes. So our first way of playing the new way to play the don't pass bar and the only way to play the don't pass bar was a success. So I'm gonna make a little comment here based on the outcome. If we did not try to challenge the five, we would have made about, I would say $700. So, so once we modified this strategy, we, we modified it after we got destroyed by the five. So don't play any of the inside. Do not challenge the inside. Only challenge your fours and tens. But guys, you have to understand something. You're going to win here uh, every single time, most of the time, by putting the buy bet on. If, so you just have to learn what is the correct buy bet based on the amount you have on the the no, uh, uh, you know, you have your, let's say you have a hundred here. You got to always know the correct amount that you have to bet here, which is pretty easy. But if you don't know that, you probably shouldn't be playing anyway. You got to pr practice first and learn. So I wouldn't recommend playing with real money. Okay. One of the great ways that you can pick up on how much it pays is to play simulators, like go to wizard of odds and you can play the craps there for free and put a quarter, 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 or I'm sorry, you're not playing inside. Put, put quarter on the don't and then put um, 20 bucks on the five. And it should be where you win 24 and you lose 25. So you're only losing a dollar. Okay. Um, same thing. Like, uh, but as the don't pass grows bigger, when the don't pass is like uh, $200, it makes a huge difference. 
So you only have to put like 150 here because that's 205. So you would only put 150 here and you got 200 over here. So if you roll the seven, great, you get the extra $50. If you don't and you hit the five, it protects you from the 200 loss and you make a $5 profit. You're not doing it for the $5 profit. You're just refusing to play against the inside. And by you picking and choosing how you want the DC, the don't pass to play, what you're doing is you're putting the power in the, the don't pass. The, D, the don't pass has no power. It has no power the way that the, it works. You have way too many ways to lose. You're basically signing up to say, hey, I'm going to put money here and I'm just going to keep throwing these dice and you're always seeing these numbers hit. I mean, that's kind of silly if you think about it, of really what you're doing. If you really think about it, it's a kind of a silly bet. So why not take us bring the, the strength, the strength into it, which is the seven going against the fours and tens and making it where we win some money on the inside. Okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think it's a creative way to play. That was, that's going to be the new way to play the don't pass bar. Uh, I wouldn't play it any other way, guys. If you guys know of a strategy that you can play the don't pass bar and you think you can consistently win with that strategy, you let me know what the name of that strategy is and who made it. Because I can tell you right now, there's no way. There's no way that you can have a don't pass bar or a DC in a strategy unless you're playing it this way. There's no way. I'll bet all the money that that person cannot consistently win over and over. That's going to be about a 50%. Maybe you win 60% of the time. But that's not good enough for me. If I don't win 90% of the time on a, using a don't pass or a don't come, I'm not doing it. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.